Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about the three types of services that are provided by the data link layer to the layer above it. Okay, that is the network layer. So the three kinds of services are unacknowledged connectionless service. The second is acknowledged connectionless service and the third is acknowledged connection oriented service. Now let us see the difference between each of them. So in unacknowledged connectionless service, the receiver does not acknowledge the frames that are sent by the sender. So that is why we call it unacknowledged. So in this kind of service, the sender will send the data, but the receiver will not send any information back to the sender about what frames it has received or what frames it has uh, not received while the sender had sent it. Okay. Now in contrast to this unacknowledged service in the case of acknowledged connectionless as well as acknowledged connection oriented services the receiver actually acknowledges the frames that have been sent by the sender in both the cases and this acknowledgement is basically in form of an acknowledgement frame which is sent by the receiver to the sender that informs the sender about the last frame that was received by the receiver okay so accordingly the sender sends the next frame if a particular frame has been missed or its acknowledgement gets missed due to a noisy channel the sender retransmits the last frame so acknowledged and unacknowledged refers to the feedback from the receiver whether it is being received or not now let's come to the part of connectionless and connection oriented so connectionless basically means that no logical connection is set up between the sender or the receiver okay so i'll come to the second point but before that let's understand connectionless connectionless means that no a fixed path is set up between the sender and the receiver okay so the frames can travel uh, the frames sent by the sender can travel independently they will not follow any fixed path each frame is free to follow any path that is available during transmission and reach the receiver so both these points are connected so in case of connectionless service no logical connection is set up uh, whether it is acknowledged or unacknowledged but in the case of connection oriented logical connection is set up then the frames are transmitted and later it is also torn down so that resources are not wasted so when a connection is set up between the sender and the receiver all the frames follow this particular path and once the transmission is complete the sender and receiver agree to break down or tear down the connection that was established so that the links that are forming the connection can be used for some other transmission by another sender and receiver pair okay so now when there is no logical connection frames will travel independently that means each frame is allowed to take any path to reach the receiver whereas in connection oriented since a fixed path has been set up so frames will follow the same path and all the frames will follow the same path and reach the sender the receiver will follow the same connection or the path that has been established so this is a very important point so when we say frames travel independently there is no restriction on the path that is followed but when a connection has been set up all the frames will follow this particular connection between the sender and the receiver now the next important difference between the three kinds of services is that in case of unacknowledged connectionless service there is no way to handle lost frames so if the sender has sent some frame and due to a noisy channel the frame got lost and never reached the receiver there is no way that the receiver will be able to tell that he has not received a particular frame because it is an unacknowledged service that is why 
a lost frame is lost forever it is never handled but in case of acknowledged connection less lost frames can be resent because the receiver is sending an acknowledgement about what kind of frames he has received and what kind of frames uh, uh, he has not received rather he is just telling that what was the last frame received so the sender understands that which frame did not reach the receiver so that is why there is a mechanism to handle lost frames and whenever a frame is lost it is resent by the sender but in case of the third kind of service which is acknowledged also and connection oriented also so since a fixed path has been set up there is no chance of the frames getting lost here so we say that it connection oriented service uh, guarantees that the frames will be delivered to the receiver and since a particular path has been followed all the frames will travel this particular path and definitely reach the receiver okay and uh, the receiver also acknowledges all the frames that have been received okay now the uh, application of each of these services is very important the unacknowledged connectionless service is actually useful in real time like voice system video transmission where if, even if frames are lost you do not need to retransmit the frames because late transmission is worse than no transmission okay so uh, if a voice packet has been lost you would not want that voice packet to reach 5 seconds later it is lost it is lost we need that the further packets reach on time or further frames reach on time so uh, it is useful for real time traffic like voice and video and ethernet is an important application where this kind of service is used then acknowledged connectionless service is used in unreliable channels like wireless systems or the wifi that we used which follows 802.11 standard and in the case of acknowledged connection oriented service since it is a reliable channel so here uh, since it is a reliable transmission so long distance links which are unreliable like satellite links use this kind of service so that the uh, frames it can be guaranteed that the frames will reach the receiver and there is a proper communication and feedback also from the receiver so unreliable links which are long distance like satellite channels mainly use this kind of service so this is all about this video i hope you have understood all the differences thank you for watching this video and let us know how did you find this video and also mention in the comment section which other topics you would like to study on our channel thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam